My final destination is a small town called Kati Kati, near Turonga Harbour, where I've arranged to meet cheesemakers Chris and Jill Whaley. The reason I'm here is that they were the first to be granted official approval by the authorities to make cheese from raw cow's milk and are responsible for Mount Eliza cloth-bound Red Leicester. The traditional way of doing it is with a bandage, of course. This allows the cheese to, to breathe a bit more and allows more of the flavours to come through as the, as the way evaporates from the cheese as it matures. When we started, all our cheese was bandaged. Over the last couple of years, we do some coated as well because it, it looks cleaner, it's easier to handle. Jill and Chris went on to explain how challenging it was to convince the local authorities to sign off on the production of cheese made from raw milk. A number of occasions where I just felt like uh, just throwing in the towel, really, and just um, deciding it was just too hard. Um, with the raw milk cheese, you have a number of controls right the way through the process, you know, from your acidity development, your rate of acidity development, the moisture, the salt, the maturation. And these are monitored continually through the process. So in a lot of ways, raw milk cheese is actually safer than pasteurised milk cheese. Oh, look at that. Look at the texture. Now that. That is really better than about any Red Leicester I've had in UK for years. That's really, really good. That's what I tell oh, my customers, it's better than the real thing. Mm. Better than the imitation you get in England. Mm. That's really good. Excellent.